Power Rangers Battle for the Grid, the fighting game that was once hated by many in the fighting game community to all of a sudden being praised by its updates and storylines and characters being added to the roster and I think Battle for the Grid actually provided us with some major updates and more information regarding the future status of the fighting game and I think what it needs to do is bring us up to the PS5 and I think people who actually have the PS5 are going to find it more enjoyable to play as they go. Power Rangers Battle for the Great takes an unusual step of turning the famous Monster Bastion TV series into a one-on-one -on -one fighter that has ended up a shockingly popular take on the franchise. The game is not only popular but widespread, with versions available across all major platforms. With that in mind, some might be wondering, is the game cross-platform in short? Yes it is. No matter what platform you brought the game on, you should be able to play against folks on Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, PS4, and PS4. See. Now, speaking of cross-playing platforms, this game has a major step up in terms of adding more updates to the game when it comes to making the storyline because this game alone is based on the Shadow Grid comic series. Not the Mighty Morphin run, but the Shadow Grid. We have all of Rangers from different universe and different timelines to come together to stop the evil Lord Dragon from conquering the Morphin Grid so that he'll be able to have all the power to himself. But if they did the the arc you have now currently with the Boom Studio comics being added to the game, it's a must have for the fans. The only Power Rangers space fighting game on the market does indeed support crossplay across all developer platforms. While this is a great feature to have, the game didn't start out that way when it was first released. It wasn't until midway through 2019 that the game was actually updated to have crossplay features included. Though every platform released after this point had the feature enabled for the I mean from the get-go, sorry. Um I think for the most part when the game first came out, like I said, nobody really liked in the game because it was like a short roster eight characters being added to the game and not that many characters were added until a few years later and a month later it started out with the voice acting with the storylines and the story mode which actually did a good job but I kind of feel like that part should have had it more with cutscenes instead of just like going into the battle when it comes to character dialogues like I would have mind seeing it the characters do dialogues before they fight instead of just like reading text from different characters and from the storylines as well that's what I would have preferred while the game does feature crossplay the feature isn't enabled by default once you've booted the game go into the settings menu and you should find an option to enable a crossplay feature. At that stage, you can match maker with random people on different platforms. You should also have a unique player ID that you can use to, to challenge your friends to direct matches as well. Whew, that was a tough one. Um, my speech is not that good, like I said. But like I said, doing the commentary stuff on YouTube is not that easy. You know, you, you're gonna have to do what you gotta do to. Try to try your best to without messing up your lines or whatever though because I don't write scripts. I just go with the flow and if I mess up, I pause, I start over. But about this game alone, it's good that this game is available on all platforms. But I would have loved it if they actually added more characters into the main roster. Like example, Billy Cranston, he was missing of all action in Battle for the Grid. And if you add him, Zack, and Trini alone into the roster, I can only imagine you would have had your original six or five. Because Billy Cranston would be a nice addition to Battle for the Grid. Because Debbie Yost is one of my favorite actors from Power Rangers, and he's the homo dude. 
So just having Billy Cranston in Battle for the Grid would be a dream come true. What do y'all think it is? Should Billy be added to Battle for the Grid? Let me know in the comments down below.